Hello friends, this is Arun and welcome in my channel of Photoshop, Lightroom and Photography. Today's tutorial is very very special because today I am telling you about the photo manipulation. So this is my image, this is my shoe image that I will convert this image to this. And this is a very good example of photo manipulation and this wallpaper is very very beautiful by using all techniques. Today I will tell you about this, uh, that this is photo manipulation and uh, you can use this technique and uh, uh, to any to any image. So let's see how do I it in the Photoshop. So firstly my aim is to crop the bottom part of this shoes by using uh, this pen tool I will crop this part then I have uh, this uh, paint splash wallpaper uh, that I have separately downloaded it from the internet and then I will put uh, on this behind part of the shoes and then I will crop this part and then the and bottom part of of uh, this shoes and uh, one this color sp uh, splash you can also put on this part so in this original image I will crop this firstly I will crop this white portion instead of this fuse so firstly I have only two layers one is shoes that is separate from the background layer my background I'll, background layer is plain that is black I will activate this then uh, I will choose this pen tool then make selection then uh, after choosing this after making the selection then right click on this uh, make selection feather I want one then press ctrl Z make sure you have chosen this uh, shoes layer ctrl J then uh, now the this part is I have available this bottom part Now this time uh, uh, I have three layers, uh, one is background and then uh, original shoes layer, then third one is uh, this is my bottom part. So I want uh, also my this red portion separate from this uh, bottom white part. So for this uh, I will select, uh, I will click on alt uh, control click on this uh, layer and then the area will be selected. Then. Uh, by using this layer, this second layer, I will delete this area. Control D. Sorry, it, I hit D from the keyboard, then Control D to deselect. So that you can see that I have deleted this portion. Uh, you can see some white portion in this area. So I will delete it manually by uh, by choosing this area as a tool. Uh, make sure you have chosen this layer, second layer. So I have separate two layers. Now that is the uppermost part. Now this is bottom part. Now this time uh, choose the second layer. Then press Ctrl T for transformation of this fuse. Just rotate it. Then 
set the position of this shoes as per the as per my manipulation then uh, some rotation of i want some more rotation okay then uh, right click on this and then choose warp tool then you can adjust so it's don't look fake okay so in this way you can adjust your uh, upper part of this use as per your need as per your photo i have re i have readjust the uh, shoes position as well as uh, i have re transformed this then i will choose this bottom part then control t mm. some what i want this then i will adjust the position of this layer by choosing this now i have uh, three paint splash that i have uh, downloaded from the internet as you can see from uh, here so i will show you i have three layers uh, i need three splash one is for the uh, upper part of this shoes one is for this then uh, uh, this is uh, splash for the bottom part sorry uh, this is for bottom part this one and uh, this is for upper part okay then i have one more splash that uh, i will convert uh, this i will match this splash uh, this white portion now i will make uh, layer mask then i will mix this paint splash with shoes so for my upper layer i will make a new mask then click on this then click on mask button mm. okay then uh, i will choose brush mm, then i will mix this area then uh, this uppermost layer then i will mix the area now this time uh, i will choose this uh, third paint splash then i will mix this paint splash with this white portion so i will make a new mask mm. I think I should uh, retransform this fight portion then control T Okay then uh, I will choose this again then position it by choosing move tool control t okay uh, then uh, i have uh, put a mask then i will choose brush 
control D then I will choose this make sure you have choose this Then control T again. Then I will mix it. Then I have this also. Uh, this portion I want to remove. Remove. Then again choose brush tool. Then by using mask. I can remove so uh, this basic layout I have received now uh, this time uh, I will put all uh, color management as well as color matching and uh, background work so now I have uh, I will show you my layers firstly the first one is my background layer then I have shoes upper pass upper part then I have uh, this sole then I have paint supply for sole, then paint supply for upper part. Now I have only six layers. Now I will choose, uh, I want this uh, white portion instead of red. Then, uh, so I will make a new layer uh, on the upper part of this, in, on the upper part of this uh, layer. Then uh, I will choose I will take selection by clicking alt click on this upper layer then I will I will I will uh, color this by using white brush Uh, I have moved this layer to upper past uh, upper part of this layer so I have painted this layer with the white uh, I think I I should use um, some gray shade that is already with this then I will re um, control Z So I think that is better. So this time I have chosen this layer, the second layer. Uh, I will uh, mix this red color with this red portion of paint splash. So I have chosen this layer, then uh, go to adjustment layer mask. Then uh, I will choose uh, levels. So I will mix this layer. Uh, match this uh, match this layer with the with this paint splash so I want to contrast more so now it's matching almost matching this is before and this is after then I will choose this hue and saturation some hue I want uh, this is totally experiment uh, then uh, So this is uh, uh, this is I have uh, two layers hue and levels. This is before and this is after. I have match this layer, uh, this shoes layer with this paint splash. 
so almost I have got the effect so I will choose now the bottom layer then I want some background effect for this uh, I choose this background layer uh, this uh, bottom layer then uh, make a new layer then I will choose my brush to uh, I want uh, maximum soft brush control Z control Z I want here here okay now readjust the opacity for this this is maximum I want uh, some low effect then blend mode to screen softness uh, opacity 35 then choose brush again control jet now I have uh, this uh, this this wallpaper this uh, paper wallpaper I will blend I will set blend mode to overlay then I will make active all these layer then you can see effect mm. then you can uh, match this wallpaper to the shoes color so it's uh, almost red so friends uh, this is a complete wallpaper uh, a complete photo manipulation tutorial I hope you have liked this video and uh, uh, it should depend on you what result you want from photo manipulation photo manipulation may be anything maybe replacing a face with another portrait or uh, maybe one animal with another animal uh, this time I have used this shoes then in future I will put more tutorial on photo manipulation that uh, that you can understand how to do photo manipulation with the uh, with the different things so this is a very very beauty, beautiful uh, beautiful wallpaper uh, of uh, photo manipulation I hope you have understand all techniques and uh, techniques are same and uh, tools are same and it is all about your understanding in mind so thank you friends for watching this video and keep watching my tutorials and to find more information on Photoshop, Lightroom and Photography. Thank you friends, keep watching.